This is the flip study for the Samsung 700T Smart PC Pro. It's made of ultra suede and synthetic leather. You can see that it fits very snugly into the case. And uh, the side actually is kind of a detachable side that's pretty easy to put on. Um, and that works really well. Right out of the gate, you can flip it over. It stands up in portrait modes, landscape modes, and so on without even connecting the snaps that you see on the front of it. If you detach the side, you can actually really easily just pop it onto the docking station. And then of course pop it off. The side reattaches very easily and away you go. Uh, I also included a hand strap with the device that also will hold the charger. And then there's a pen spot for your pen to go into as well. If you actually snap the cover to the back, it adds a more, uh, uh, a better attached system. And uh, you can see that you just manipulate the computer with your hand into all of these different positions. It has a unique uh, swiveling structure that collapses and, and swivels to create all these modes. It stands up on uh, pretty much any surface, whether it's slanted, uh, sloped, or, or curved, it'll stand on your body. Um, and then if you unsnap the tether, you can actually fold it flat. And then there's a number of other ways that you can actually uh, manipulate the articulating panel. I'm going to show you the process to make one of these. Starting with raw materials, we start with the fabric. Uh, that's actually uh, positioned on some boards with adhesive tape. And from there, we spray off um, the fabric to make sure there's no debris. We add an adhesive uh, spray glue. Uh, that goes into an alignment jig. The alignment jig Another jig goes over the top to position the aluminum panels on the gluey fabric. And then what we do is we start to pound locator holes into uh, the fabric as well. Uh, that falls into a later process. And then, of course, the jig is removed. That entire panel is thrown back up to be resprayed in critical spots where we wouldn't want to lose any kind of adhesive uh, closure. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And then, of course, uh, the top uh, leather, or sorry, that's the suede, is a line. And that's smoothed out by hand. Uh, we open up the jig, take a look, and make sure that nothing got into the lamination. Uh, every now and then a staple or something will get into a lamination. So we check for that. The whole thing goes into a vacuum bag. And inside of that vacuum bag, uh, it's basically pulled together, and we get the, the kind of... Uh, sharp lamination that we're looking for. Uh, this is a shot of the very first run of these that we did for the Samsung AT for people in these forums at the tablet PC review forums. Here we are redefining our, um, our uh, punch and trimming up the fabric. This is the laser jig and it's built to let the laser pass through it and not destroy the jig. Uh, it has two parts. The top part actually holds any kind of edges of the fabric down away from the laser. You want to be a very consistent distance away from the laser. And uh, now the laser is actually tracing the cut lines, and we check that for accuracy. We want to be somewhere within 20 thousandths of where we uh, wanted to be or where we designed ourselves to be. Then, of course, we close it, and we actually go ahead and uh, cut the entire shape out using the laser. The width of the beam actually cuts something around uh, 15 thousandths of an inch. Uh, kerf is what that's called, is the cut width. Um, we cut even the holes are very specifically cut to size uh, for later processes. And then of course that whole thing is taken out of the laser and moving on in the process. Okay, so the next step is to actually cut the shape out of the lamination, and you can see that we just do that with a razor blade and uh, try and get a good clean cut on this. It's cut in several different spots. Okay, and once the excess material is removed, uh, what I'm doing here is I'm cutting the uh, tether that actually creates the automatic folding um, mechanism from front to back. Now I'm putting the new pencil tag in and you'll see me sewing it. I sew in uh, the elastic straps that allow the uh, the pen holder and uh, the hand strap to work as well as the detachable side. 
So there's some elasticity, and each one of these needs to be uh, pulled tight in order uh, to be sewn. So you can see I have kind of some methods to hold my hand and pull the elastic tight uh, and sew it in. And then they all get trimmed up. And then, of course, when you're working with elastic, you have to actually singe the edges, otherwise it can unravel a little bit on you. So I go through a process and singe all of the edges and then trim as much of the thread off as I can. And then this is where the tether is sewn on, and this is a very precise process. There's a lot of aluminum around, and you break sewing needles easily. So that's the sewing process. Now we're on to the metal bending process. And that first thing you saw me put down was an alignment jig that aligns the... Um, the case to the metal bending jig, which is very critically, needs to be very critically placed. That whole thing goes up on a press, and I have a nice piece of steel there to keep from crushing my jig, because I'm about to put about five or six tons of pressure on it. And I developed this jig to bend the metal very precisely, and you can see that I have very specific tools for each bend. Uh, right now I'm just bending them up 90 degrees, and then I take a piece of suede and put it in between the tool and the, uh, the actual case to kind of ease the friction on the case. And I bend it over at the other 90 degrees. It's actually kind of hard to bend, bend these. I would use better tools if I had a, a lot more money. Um, anyhow, so then I basically pull the mail out of the jig and I slice uh, the detachable side free. And the jig starts to come apart and I remove my plug in pieces. I can remove the detachable side and then moving on in the process once again we have bent sides. These are little things that I developed to go over the snaps. Since the cover is flush to the screen I take suede and cut them in these uh, little boomerang shapes with eyes in them and they go over the snap posts and, um, and protect uh, the screen from the back of the metal snap. You can see over the process here I'm just pounding each one of the snaps in. It takes a lot longer than this, I'm telling you. <laughs> um, and then, of course, we do the snaps to the back, which is the male side of the snap. Uh, and those get little fabric washers that I cut on a laser uh, to offset the snap so that uh, the sharp edge of the snap doesn't shear the fabric. And then it goes on in the process. And then we put the more subtle bends in for the time being on a uh, press break. And this allows us to get the subtle bends uh, up to the edge of the tablet. And uh, this actually worked quite well. Um, then, of course, what we do is we actually set, this is tuning and uh, uh, rigging, we set the snap length uh, to create a perfect, um, a perfect fold when it flips over the top. So you see me using my little washers and my tools again. And this is this, that block you see actually helps me set uh, the snap 100% square. Uh, if you just tap on that at slightly wrong angle, that snap is uh, is ruined for the most part. Here's a little vanity shot of all the cases that I made for the very first production of the Flip Study for the people of Tablet PC Review. We sent out about uh, 26 cases, some of which were Amazon orders, um, for the March uh, run. And so those people should be receiving their cases any day now. I'm really excited to see what they have to say about it. And, of course, uh, we package it in bubble wrap. Um, it would take uh, several, hundred, several hundred pounds of pressure to destroy those. And then, of course, there's my shipping guy.